<laughs> As you know, liberals are so miserable they can't take a joke and they don't understand it when someone says something sarcastically in order to prove a point. And so MSNBC wants Sean Hannity to go to prison for 20 years for tampering with witnesses in the Robert Mueller investigation. The leader of the witch hunt, Robert Mueller, wants to collect cell phones from various witnesses, not suspects in the Trump-Russia conspiracy investigation, just witnesses who were involved with the Trump campaign during the election so that he can go through their text messages and try to crack into their encrypted text messaging apps if they have them on their phone. And so Sean Hannity made this point. Now maybe Mueller's witnesses, I don't know, if I advise them to follow Hillary Clinton's lead, delete all your emails, and then acid wash the emails and the hard drives on the on the phones, then take your phones and bash them with a hammer into little itsy bitsy pieces, use bleach bit, remove the SIM cards, and then take the pieces and hand it over to Robert Mueller and say, Hillary Rodham Clinton, Clinton this is equal justice under the law. How do you think that would work out for everybody who Mueller's demanding their phones of tonight? Now, I'm certain the result would not be the same as Hillary's. Actually, I'm pretty sure that the results are going to be the mainstream media taking your sarcastic statements 100% seriously, Sean. USA Today reports Sean Hannity advises witnesses in Mueller probe to follow Hillary and delete emails. The Hill reports that Hannity told Mueller probe witnesses to destroy your phones before you hand them over. Here's MSHIV with their take on this new scandal. Yeah, I think the thinking in the White House is to tamper with witnesses. What Sean Hannity admitted to and actually was enticing people to do and asking them to do was to destroy evidence, which is a violation of the witness tampering statute. It's not just people who destroy the evidence, but it's also people who actually ask others to do it. I mean, if you just look at the language of the statute, whoever knowingly um, persuades another person or attempts to do so with intent to cause or induce any person to alter, destroy, mutilate, or conceal an object with intent to impair the object's integrity or availability for use in an official proceeding commits a 20-year felony. He's doing it on TV. Look at how serious this guy's taking Sean Hannity's sarcastic point about the double standard in the Department of Justice. Of course, he couldn't care less about the fact that Hillary Clinton did exactly that. This is how Chris Hayes, who I think is on right before Rachel Madcow, started his show yesterday. Tonight on All In. He wants the phones turned over. The special counsel asks for cell phones. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Crack it up and hit, tap a little pieces. As the president auditions a new attorney general. Gee, that's not deceptive editing, is it? The lower third for this entire segment says... Hannity advises Mueller witnesses to destroy devices. I apologize on the poor quality. This is the best quality clip I can find. Meanwhile, former deputy director of the FBI, that's the second in command, Andrew McCabe, who has since been fired, who oversaw the investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server, well, Congress wants him to testify about that pathetic excuse for an investigation, and he says that he's only going to answer their questions if he's granted immunity. And if they don't grant him immunity, he's going to plead the Fifth Amendment to every question they ask. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you'll support this channel through Patreon or PayPal by clicking the links in the description below. Or visit my online store, markdice.com. Check out some of the awesome shirts over there. Pick yourself up a classic liberalism find a care shirt. Or my new one, the George Washington Trump shirt. Available in t-shirt, long sleeve, and hoodie. Your purchase helps keep this channel going, so I appreciate your support, guys. Have a great weekend. Check back up Monday for a new report, and I will see you soon.